Yes? Did you have a question? Mmm, yes. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. I don't think I will. Eddie might have something to say about that. Look at Neptune going around. Is that Neptune? That'd be Saturn. No, that... Yes. Yes, that is Neptune. That's Uranus. Yes, yes. It's the outer one. How may I serve you, Master? I don't recognize them very easily. This is Saturn, obviously. The best planet, as we well know. And, uh... Jupiter. That is Jupiter. Right. The biggest one. It's still... Like, the sun is so big... It is so big that, like, I don't, I, uh, it's definitely not the sky. I, I'm trying to remember. I know the sun is, like, a thousand times the size of uh, Jupiter, maybe? I don't know. Authorized personnel only, it said over there. I don't know how to read English. Although, did you see what the game did just then? It kind of teleported me a little bit. I don't know why. Oh, there's people up here. I mean, plastic skeletons. Same thing. Jenny Millet's security keycard. Well, thank you very much for that. The computers don't work anymore, though. I don't know who Jenny Millet is. Poss possibly that robot. Ooh, look at that. We have, like, a glass beneath us. This is a really cool room. I, I really wish I could go to one of these things. I think we have one here in Portugal. I've just never been. It costs a bunch of money, and it's like 300 kilometers away from where I live. Yeah, these iBots are considerably different from Eddie. They're the original games one. Oh, they don't look nearly as cool as Eddie does. Also, Eddie's got a bunch of things on him, though. Oh, and you can see... Yeah, that's why he looks cooler. His screen has been transformed. They're not war... He's, he's, a, he's a war bot, and Eddie is not. Or rather... Eddie is a warbot, and the exhibit is not. So, what is this? Mm -hmm. Lunch boxes. The lunch boxes that were given away on the collector's edition of Fallout 3. It's these ones. You can also make some sweet, sweet um, food with them. Lots of plates and whatnot. And a hard locked door. Unfortunately, I can't open it. I'm well on my way to being able to open it, but I can't open it. Uh, I might. So it's 75 that I need. If I have Eddie. Oh, what is that? Rocket souvenir. Is that the first one that we got? I thought. I think we got the dino souvenir. Uh, let's see if we have locksmith. Yep. Locksmith's reader. reader. That's the one I need. And I also need... My lockpicking pens. So I think we're gonna be fine. This, this, uh... This thing that adds to the, um... The better, or to the value of, um... Magazines is really powerful. We're gonna need more magazines, admittedly, but still. An average safe. Should be able to open it. I really don't remember the, the spots anymore. There's some pre-assigned spots that you can... Uh, everything in there is good. That you can use. Nuka-Cola Quartz and Nuka-Cola Victory. Nuka-Cola. Got a lot of rocket souvenirs. Big Book of Science. That's my favorite. That is fantastic. Toy cars. Fancy lad snacks. Sunset Sarsaparilla. This is all from pre-war, mind you. I'm, I don't know why I can't jump. I wanted to jump. Well, that's that. Look at them commingling. 
Can't do anything with that guy. So what about all these dead people? They're fiends. They're fiends. This is what... Um... This is what Delilah was talking about. Caravan shotgun, thank you. I have a key now for that. These are the... The ones that Delilah was talking about before. My science skills of... Uh, I'm very bad at science, ain't I? Forty-four. I can't even bring that up by by enough. It's good enough though. But well, I can't can't do that. So here goes the key. We know what that's for. Gonna have to make a cut here. If this is the interesting behind. Wait. What is going on? A lot of microfusion cells in here. What is this? A plasma pistol. This is a freaking armory in here. And a plasma rifle? Now, it's not the first time that we find some of these things. Or any of these things, in fact, I think, but... Still. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Uh, I was just taking mm, some stuff over here from the desks. And of course I spotted this, the blue star Sunset Sarsaparilla. And I uh, figured empty jet and inhalers. It's been a while since I got that one. Um, and I figured that... Uh, that I pick it up, and then that guy shows up. Yeah, look at that. It's a lot of microfusion cells in here. And me opening the desk by mistake. This is a war zone. That's what this is. So now I have access because I have the little pass key from above. Let's look about let's look at this computer, because I think I have a magazine. No, not not with you. I think I have a magazine for just this. Programmer's Digest. I need more of them. But if I knew I was going to need these many, I suppose I should have taken it and used the computer outside. It's easy. Don't worry about it. Lieutenant. We got capturing over here. So, ring could be capture marauding. It's four out of nine on, on capturing. So, I'm not 100% happy with that. To be honest. Was a dud removed? More duds. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of things around here. Okay, so... Um, capturing. So depending is cap... Turing could be depending. Let's go with it. Three out of nine... Cap to your... So it isn't exploring. Because if it's the P on the third, it's not it. Um, cap to... It's definitely not different. Uh, cap to your ring. Could be ring. Uh, let's check against depending. Dep and... Yeah, it could be this. It is. There we go. Kind of takes a little bit of brain power to get these... Add user facial recognition to database. Sure. Uh, entered office correspondence number 34. What? It's a lot. It's a number a lot. Um, to all Repcon employees from Piers Eiley, general manager. Hello again, everyone. Those of you in the main building may be curious about the man doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They're installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety as well as the safety and privacy of your Repcon family. Along with the hardware and software security changes, each of you will also receive a personal, 
personnel packet with an, a, an identification badge. It is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. Oh, and everyone, feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you have received your personal packet or personnel packet. Have a great holiday, Pierce. Why take the long weekend? I'm not sure why. So to all Repcon corporate employees from Carl Rook, Vice President. Hello everyone, my name is Carl Rook. As I am sure you can tell, I'm your new Vice President. Until recently, I was at Robco, working in their security division. But now that your family and my family are one big family, we thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. Now I'm going to do as much as I can can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal concern is going to be security. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures. Well, we've got some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see some friendly androids patrolling around the main building, as long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they are properly registered with, the, with security. These friendly androids will stay out of your way. So as long as you all keep on as you have been, everything will be just fine. There's a lot of reassuring there. Thanks for your time, Carl. Postscriptum, please remember that third floor access is for executives only. If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone and we'll send you down the daily password. Thanks. So there's a daily password. Wear your badge. It could save your life. Well, that's a nice contrast to uh, exactly what we just read. Um, wow. Look at this door. Shipping. Well, it's very hard. So I think we're going to find that way somewhere else. Or uh, find, find the password. We have the second floor. Freaking hell, security is your duty. <laughs> Holy crap. They really put those... Those posters front and center, don't they? We got some computers here as well. And a uh, Nikola Tesla and you book that uh, I think is our energy weapons. It is. So, bone, cave. Let's go with cave. Zero out of five correct. That's good. Because it's nothing that ends with an E. Nothing that starts with a C. Could be fork. Could be born. It is. We have more correspondence. To ID services by Carl Rook, Vice President. Hello. I will need someone to cover... Uh, to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off of this terminal as well as reformat it with my personal information. Thank you, Carl Rook. To Carl Rook, vice president from Sarah Wang Information Systems. Mr. Rook, for the last couple weeks, I have seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that it isn't a DOD approved method. That's the Department of what is a DOD? It's probably government stuff. I fear that these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. Sarah Wong. To Sarah Wong, information systems from Carlos oh, from Carl Rook, Vice President. Mrs. Wong, please continue your investigation into the messages and keep me appraised on any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed. And please call me Carl. Carl. To Carl Rook, Vice President from Sarah Wong, Information Systems. Carl, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon. That's Poseidon Energy, but I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. Sarah. Well, I guess we should be on the lookout for Sarah's whereabouts. Because I think this is the, the, the... Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Of course, of course. A doctor's bag. Right next to all the ammunition. Ooh. 
There's another terminal in here. Stacked. Anything that ends with ED is wrong. Traitor. Hmm. Hmm. Traitor is a very good hint. There's very few of that, that uh, go with it. Trading goes with it. There we go. Encrypted message. I've managed to get the password to Eileen's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. That's what the OD stands for. You should be... I was always thinking of the DOJ, but that's the Department of Justice. Uh, you should be able to intercept it on the road. Q35 release notes. Um, or Q, rather. Uh, Quantum Plasma Modulator Matter Injection Rifle. Version 35, status failure. Well, version 30... Uh, version 32, that, rather, this is the one. While version 32 didn't have the power yield of the version 31 or 30, or 30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising, however, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter inversion issues. Version 33, failure. Uh, lab destroyed, data lost. Version 34, failure. Interesting. I'm not sure where we got this data from. It is completely different. Di it is a completely different direction from what we have been working on. We managed to cycle the matter inversion using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. Version 35, success. That data we received from Shuan didn't did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we have a working prototype. We should be able to get these issues resolved in a later build. As you requested, here are the improvements when compared to a standard plasma rifle. Prototype material is not suitable for extended field use, though. On average, the Q35 has a higher re refire rate, but the time between shots is more consistent. Increase in active bolt charge time, accurate at longer ranges, plasma charges have... have Plasma's charge is a 30% increase in energy. Well, I think that's a unique weapon that we might be able to get our hands on, maybe. Although, likely not. Um, good day, Mrs. Ma Masters. That's not part of the note. Uh, this is the computer of Mrs. Masters, though. Or Miss Masters. I don't know. Julia Masters. This is to Julia Masters. Chief Financial Officer from Leonard Steeple, Vice President. Julia! I'm sure you have heard by now about Robco's intentions to buy out our comp company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped me rally the board in order to keep Repcon autonomous. I'd like you help. I'd like your help again with Robco. Piers claimed. Yes, that's a person. Piers claimed that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover. If we won't sell willingly, or if, yeah, if we won't sell willingly, I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I hope you'll stand with me for this. Leonard. This is to Leonard now, from her. I'd stand with you, Leo. Given... Uh, give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you're right. We can fight this. Jules. And now this is another email from her. Oh, actually, this is to Pierce Eiley. You were right. Leo sent me a message last night. I've made the call to the board. I think with the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal, we will have to no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on him. Oh, the backstabbing. The corporate backstabbing. And the dirty water next to the Sunset Sarsaparilla. How dare they? So many locked doors as well. This is to the... Really? Why? Hello, Mrs. Millet. Yes, it's fine. Um, that's weird. How may I serve you, Master? So that takes to the main room as well as this one. Or main floor as well as this one. 
which means that the main floor has two entrances to the second level. Yes, it does. How do I get to the main floor from here, though? I mean, or at least see the door, because it's locked. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. How may I serve you, master? Man, the radiation in here is through the roof. 70 ra 17 rads. Rather than 5, which is sort of normal. I wonder if it's this door to shipping. And if it is, then a hard... Or... A, dang it. Then a very hard becomes a hard. Hello, Mrs. Millet. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um... So if that's the case, well, I'm screwed. I might be able to find a key. And I say I'm screwed because I don't think I have the magazine anymore for lockpicking. Which is a true shame. We're probably going to find the keys, though. Is this to the third floor? It is. It's locked. But that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to have to fight everybody up there, though. Let's not go there right now. I found something here. How may I serve you, mistress? I don't think you can. I don't believe I have been in this room before. Judging by the hard locked terminal over here, I definitely have not. So I assume so there's a module in there. This also goes to the top floor, but the other one is locked. Why would that be? Okay, there's no enemies in here. Although third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Uh sorry, no idea. Incorrect. Security alert. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Well, my luck sort of didn't work out very well, did it? Ah. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, come on. I don't know. This is bad news. Okay. No, there's a lot of them. So we're fighting the sentry bots. They have missiles. I don't think I needed to destroy the little ones. Uh, there's a Brotherhood of Still Paladin in here with a power armor. Um, can I, can I, can I wear the power armor? It all depends on the mods. I don't know. In Fallout 3, you need to learn how to use the power armor. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a power armor. And there's another Brotherhood of Steel Paladin in here. And a holotape. Uh, the war... Oh, there's a, a robot in there. That should be fine. Uh, oh, this is the thing that we found. I've managed to get the password to Eileen's computer. Yeah. What about the mission statement? It's like a whole thing. Uh, I'm also over-encumbered, as it turns out. Uh, let's get out of here, maybe. Okay, much safer now. Although that guy might be interested in seeing what's up. Um, right, uh, let's... Um, first off, Veronica... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? I'm giving you the metal armor. See? Much better. Also, that means I can move a little bit better. Now that... I can hear myself think. 
Mission code XV56. Temporary password lives uh, lives to fight uh, lives to fight another day. That's the password. The summary: Paladin Matisse and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates 0 0.004, 9.265. Search for the components we need and retrieve what you can. As a secondary objective, compile a list of additional items at the site for future retrieval. McNamara. Well, I don't think that worked out very well for them. I will need to repair my stuff, though. Grunt outfit. Can make her carry some more. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Some more stuff as well. So the cool thing about power armor, if you don't know, is how it looks, for one. Um, and I, also, I think this is Fallout 3's power armor rather than Fallout 1 power armor. I think we're going to be able to get Fallout 1's power armor in this game. Uh, the helmet is different from this. It's just the metal helmet that I have. Um, but the cool thing about power armor that I didn't really dwell on too much is that it adds to strength. Two points of strength, also a little bit of radiation resistance, which is actually very little compared to what it really should be. But two strength is really good because it adds to the carry weight. So I'll be able to carry more junk with me. And who doesn't want more junk? What about this computer? Uh, we have a safe. To Piers Eiley, Repcon, by, uh, from Carl's Rook. Hello, Piers. Now that things have s been set in motion, I'm going to be your liaison and point of contact with Robco. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition to the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you well know, Robco handles many classified projects because of this. Repcon will need a larger increase a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. Thank you for your time. Carl Rook. And we have the inter-office correspondence to Steve Reynolds. Look at this guy. We, we've heard of him. He's the launch facility project manager. Steve, can you send an email out to your engineers reminding them about our security policies? I'll be sending a message next week about some increased security procedures. Thanks, Piers. So it all was set in stone. Reynolds was convinced that he could do things. They just booted him. But he couldn't. He could never have done anything. And the people who were working to prevent it from happening and thought that maybe they could prevent it from happening, they never had any chance of preventing it from happening either. They were always going to be acquired by Robco. Oh, hi. I'm very sorry. I, I must kill you. Oh, no. This is bad news. This sentry robot is dead. I knocked it out. Are you going to be okay? Wow. Okay. Um, so that computer is very hard to log into. That worries me a little bit. See if the password is in the toilet or something. Um, yeah, I'm not getting in there. This is where they came out of. The robots did. Oh! Piers Eilie's briefcase. Is that Piers Eilie's? Repcon third floor security card. And some money. Wait a minute. That means the robots killed them all? Oh, 
Security card doesn't open that computer, though. It might open the door downstairs. We got some computers that we really need to mess with. Oh. This is the other door. The one that was easily locked. I mean, you had an easy lock, I should say. 